What's up everybody, happy Friday. Uh, just wanna thank everybody that voted on my poll between the Rain Energy Drink and the Bang Energy Drink. Bang ended up winning, it had a total of 25 votes while Rain had a total of 21. Uh, so thank you guys again for going out there and voting. Um, basically what I wanna do with this video is give you guys the truth about each energy drink. Um, everybody deserves to know the truth. A lot of people don't really understand what exactly goes on in the mechanism of each energy drink so i kind of wanted to keep you guys up to date and let you know what is going on so um as many of you might not know is that bang came out you know it was a super great energy drink it has your bcas in it it's got this coenzyme 10 in it it's got creatine in it oh wow creatine in the energy drink i know that's awesome right um a couple months down the road you have your rain energy drink comes out what a lot of people don't know is that Monster Energy actually created this rain drink. So what I want to do here is I just want to kind of give you guys an up-to-date list of like some differences between them. The main difference being that the Bang has creatine. Um, essentially, everything is almost the same between the two energy drinks. The labels are almost the same. The mottos, logos, whatever you want, it's all the same. Um, but I kind of want to give you some facts and uh, go ahead and check out the differences. I'm going to put a table up so you guys can see it. Um, just go ahead and pause it if you have any questions. Read it over. Um, and here you go. Enjoy. Alrighty, so now that you kind of got the... Uh, Main differences is that the Bang Energy Drink has creatine in it. This quote unquote, this super creatine that VPX Labs created. So what they essentially did is they bonded an amino acid with the creatine. That way it wouldn't be soluble in water and that way you'd actually intake it. Um, so if you guys didn't know, creatine is actually soluble in water, which means it'll dissolve in water. It'll turn to creatinine. So when we drink that, it's pretty much useless. That's why when we mix it, we need to drink the creatine pretty quickly so it doesn't break down and dissolve into the water. Um, what they made was it's called creatyl L-leucine. So they took the creatine, bonded it with amino acid to essentially make it non-soluble in water. But what we have next is that there is actually a lawsuit against Bang. And it's funny because Rain, the makers, uh, Monster Energy, decided to sue Bang because they had an Ivy League school test out the actual products that are in Bang. And it seems as though that the super creatine is actually not as super as they thought. So when it was tested, they actually didn't find any traces of creatine. Um, and there was also other tests done that the coenzyme 10, which is basically, it's already in our bodies, it's in our mitochondria. Um, what it does is it helps produce energy for us to use. And that's why they put it in the energy drink. It's also in rain, but the studies that we found show that it's actually not even in bang. Um, along with not having the BCAs that it claims in there. Now it doesn't give a, real good description of how many BCAs are actually in this energy drink, but the minimal amount isn't enough to really benefit us because whenever you're taking a supplement, you need a certain amount for it to be able to actually do something for the body. And the one that they claim is actually doing stuff for us doesn't really benefit us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some uh, proof down below. Uh, a couple screenshots for you guys to look at that way you don't think I'm just making this up off the top of my head uh, you know you got to have proof especially in the science world when you're trying to prove something proof is very important so uh, I'll have you guys just look at the couple slides that I put up here um, and then I'll get right back to you So as you can see right there, the proof is right there. It's all on the internet. Go ahead, Google it. You'll find everything. Um, 
Bang really isn't what they say they are. Um, of course, you're still gonna get the feeling from the caffeine. Of, it's gonna make your heart race. Of course, you're gonna feel like you have more energy because of 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's a, more than two cups of coffee. It's gonna have your heart racing everywhere. You're gonna feel like you have energy, but as far as it comes to the other stuff like the coenzyme 10 or the creatine in there, it's not there. You can see it's even on the internet. The the facts do not lie that it was tested. Um, this is what happens with a lot of supplements. They aren't FDA approved. They aren't third party approved. And are you really getting what you're paying for? And that's one of the main things you have to watch out with with supplements. Um, now, the funny thing is that Bang Energy and Rain are essentially the same thing besides the creatine. So what Monster Energy did was they tested. They were like, oh, Bang claims this. We're going to go ahead and test you. Bang failed the test. That's why they put the lawsuit on there because everybody's so hype on these Bangs because of all the th things they claim, but they're not really giving you what you want. So that's why Rain was like, oh, you don't listen to science. You're going to try to make this creatine that actually doesn't exist. So what Rain did was it took their drink and like, oh, you're going to make a fake product. We're going to make a real product, but we're going to use actual science and we're going to take out the creatine because we know that's not possible to do. Um, so essentially what happens is Bang then goes ahead and counters to use Monster Energy, aka the Rain Energy drink for a fraudulent. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload a couple pictures so you can see some facts from the articles that I pulled out about how Rain basically took Bang's trademark. So I hope you enjoy the pictures, here they are. So you see there, it's an ongoing battle back and forth. It just so happens that VPX Labs got called out for not using their actual supplements that they're stating is on their product, which is a big no-no. When you don't do that, this is what happens. Um, and I think basically, even though Rain does look exactly like Bang, has the same motto, same everything, it they are actually if they're actually putting what's in their product, we don't know yet. I wanna waiting for more uh, studies to come out to see if it's actually in there. Um, then Bang really doesn't have anything to say because they're giving people fake products and just marketing something that is actually not in there. Um, now, I've had both of them. I've had the Rain, I've had the Bangs. Cotton Candy is absolutely my favorite. And don't get me wrong, the Bang is probably my favorite, the Cotton Candy. That tastes the best to me. Now, I get the same energy from both of them. The caffeine, the 300 milligrams of caffeine, more than two cups of coffee. It's gonna make anybody have energy. It just it just is. It's what caffeine does. It is gonna raise your heart rate. It is gonna get your core temperature up. It's gonna make you sweat. It's gonna make you feel like you might have a heart attack, and you might even have a heart attack. But that's besides the point. But as far as the science goes, I have to go with the rain because so far there's nothing that says there's not BCAs in rain. There's not the coenzyme 10 that they're not putting in there. It's all in there until I hear otherwise, then I'm gonna go with rain. Even though the bang tastes better, rain is the more logical choice because they're actually putting stuff in there. Weird, I know. So for everybody that uh, you know drinks those energy drinks or whatever, I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. So uh, thank you guys for watching and take care.